We'll skip the opening stuff here, I think. And let's jump right back into the game. Ah yes, the good old days, you know, where it's like a single autosave if you have one. You have to rely on saving basically to get around. Manual saving. Alright, so what's the plan here at this point? I'll know at this point, basically, like, you've conquered Messena, and I still gotta skip you out of town, like, over here somewhere. I can probably see it if I use this guy. Yeah, there it is, right there. Capia, I wanna basically take this out at some point. So, you know, we don't have the, the skip you anymore. There's this guy's army over here, apparently. I really want to sink this fleet, so... It cost me a ship doing that, but we got rid of their navy, basically. Now that's out of the way, I'm going to retrain these guys. And you guys go in here. You can go in there. Really, at this point, you reinforce Carolis, perhaps. Maybe move some guys over here so I can, you know, um, have these slingers go out. Maybe over here. Probably start reinforcing the cities to the to the west. Basically, is the plan. I'll have to worry about Capua at some point too, but in good time, basically, we'll, we'll worry about them. These guys, of course, are still here. Alright, I've got two guys here, the faction leader and this guy right here. He's a strain, which means this guy's going to be terrible for um, the town. This guy's religious, he's a successor. Oof. Alright, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to leave my useless successor here because of the simple reason that I need to have someone who's going to be alive long enough to basically be, you know, able to wipe out, or not wipe out, but this guy's probably, probably going to die soon, so I want to basically, like, you know, keep around um, the guy who isn't going to die, just to sort of build the city up a little bit more. So Han will basically come with me over here. And I'm actually going to build up a bunch of town walks here, I think, just to... I'll keep the population down for the most part here, just for a simple reason I don't want this, like, you know... Um, I'm going to have a low tax rate because for the most part I need to have it for, like, you know, the... Um, the riding people here. I need to get more guards basically to, you know, keep order and stuff. My I serve your will. You can go in there, I guess. Over the <clears throat> and I'll think about it. Let's build a, a bream right here. I may want to get a temple or something over here, but... Hmm. Let's go with this temple here, I think.
basically at this point, I'm just like, you know, wanted to like build these like cities up. But I also want to make it so like they, um, they're built up well. And you know what? Let's just drop this down to low. If I get this down to low, it, my population will probably go over to 2,000, and then I can build up the next thing that comes from this. Uh, by the way, I'm the largest faction, apparently. Coming of age, someone came of age. The guy who was, like, you know, who was with his army here. Alright, let's so my diplomat to... Mosey on over here. here is to obey. Moves depleted, sir. Moves depleted, sir. Moves depleted, sir. No more moves, sir. I, great lord. There's those guys. See, the thing is that without a fleet, this guy can't get to me. And he doesn't build a port right away, so... There's that as well. Let's take out these guys. And with this, like, battle here, I'm not really worried about my guys getting killed, so... He might kill a couple of guys. Let's see who can sustain the casualties, apparently, so... Apparently, I mean, Mercedes took some... Blarick Singers apparently took one. Those guys are now out of the way. Glorious victory. It's awesome. I, great Lord, I you can go here. To the ships. We're just going to drop these guys here and then I, my Lord, let them out over here. This guy's a nice combat general, I guess, so he's going to jump into Hanno's army. When Hanno dies, he'll basically take over, you know, as the main army guy here. And we got more rebels down here, apparently. Ooh! Orders. Apparently I lost a lot of elephants. That's one of the bad things, I guess, about, uh... All about you can, like, lose your elephants, which is not something I want to have happen, so... I'll always show you a cheap thing. You can use the auto saves if you want to basically, like, you know, not lose all your men like that. I have no idea how they could kill that many elephants, but, you know, the all bells. It's something you want to be careful doing if, like, you know, you want to preserve your troops. So let's fight this on a battle map and make sure you don't get killed. This early on, I can't, like, replenish these troops too easily. Like, if I lose the elephants, I don't have any way to replace them right now, so... The smell worse than any camel is the enemy. Fear has unmanned them. Fear of you, oh brave warriors. Fear of you! Nice little speech. Now to arms. Harden your hearts and think of your loved ones. Think of all who wish to see you again. Think of these, and we will have victory. Just deploy. We're just gonna get these guys ready. So these guys have skirmishers, I think. Peasants and skirmishers, yeah. Really, the main thing here is to have my, like, you know... Slinger is basically, like, a rat case under peasants, I guess.
Oh, they're, uh... Yeah, I was gonna rock in real quick. And done. There are no losses that time. That's the only thing about this game, like, you know, the all battle is like, you know, something I, I do like to use eventually, but it can kill your special units if you have them. Which is not good. Yes, mighty lord. Sire! Boarding! Counter spying. Sire! Mighty children. Drop these guys off. Out of moves, great lord. Ready to sail. My ears are yours. Let's see here. I want to get these guys to retrain so they can jump in here. I'm not by the way to build the um, elephants. I just need to have the cavalry stables. So it is possible for me to retrain them eventually, but just not yet. And apparently I can't retrain these guys, that's unfortunate. Tempted to have, like, you know, my guys come down to kill these guys, but whatever. Let's get set this up high, I think, at this point. Now I got some stuff over here. Eh, we'll take this much to hit these guys. Probably got an equal force of these guys, but I don't think they'll be too tough for me to kill with my army. We're gonna skip the speech, I think, for this little battle. Alright, now some of the note by the way is that units can hide in trees and stuff. So these guys are actually hiding up here. That's why you basically see them like constantly like, you know, disappearing from my view. Now, my main plan here will be basically use like my general and these guys, um, the infantry basically to hold these guys in place. While my round cavalry basically go around from the back. Slingers. Infantry, slingers. Alright, interesting. They put their slingers first, so guess we're gonna do them. Units, 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 
I'll take out this sling of spirits if I can, so... Do that. Now let's hit these guys all from all sides. The gods, the enemy general was a. There we go. I got a few kills, mostly on my cavalry, but whatever. That's something else, by the way. You can have casualties, by the way, from your guys, but sometimes they'll get revived. And not be wiped out. This guy got a little bit of command from that. That's nice. Let's get this built. I'm actually going to drop the tax rate to low for this place for now. We'll build that there. For the most part, Things are looking pretty good for how stuff is getting built. It's going to take these guys out for now. I was probably going to send like a bunch of these town walks over to Corrals over here, but I'm actually wondering if I should still do that. And I might just send them down here to help guard Fapsis. A lot of this, like, this game will be like, you know, you'll be trying to think about where is like, you know, best send your troops to defend yourself. Oops, I forgot to move that guy. Spain said hi. There's a spy apparently for Numidia. Sire, to hear. So there's Rome, by the way. To hear is to obey. Yes. Rome usually has big armies around it, like this guy right here. They're really experienced too, and lots of generals. Basically, don't expect to sack Rome too easily. I'll we'll send this guy up this way, I think. Apparently Britain and Germ G Germany are going to war. Alright, this guy's down here. I'll try and get these guys trained back up. But while I'm doing that, I'll send like some guys down here to wipe out these guys, so... Let's have you, you, you. That's actually enough, I think, right there. Just some right there. He's got a rebel general, apparently, right here. This unnamed rebel general. Town militia, skirmishers, and peasants. Oops. My guys here aren't close enough to purchase the battle. Something about this, like, you know, how this battle basically works. Um, it basically is centered around the person you're attacking, so they have, like, you know, units around them. That's basically how you have allies and stuff happening there. If they're not around them, then it doesn't happen that well. Or it doesn't happen, rather. And I think I decided, I'm actually going to just drop some of these guys in here, I think. And we're just going to drop...
Drop my time walks in here to help guard Corrales, basically. By the way, if you, these guys are like all moving, they'll actually all move for you, which is nice, but it's kind of slow too, so... It's good to always move your units basically, so you have to basically watch the slow animations of them walking by, because you can't skip them. Oh, he's got a ship over there. Scary. Let's see here. There's the Britons. There we go. So there's like the Britons territory. They basically have Scotland. Or I guess that's not Scotland all the way up there, but whatever. They basically have like all of like modern alien whales over here, the um the Britannia guys. And over here is you know Germania, so we'll go talk to them next. Spain probably has someone in there. I'm gonna drop these guys off. That's a nice good defense in there for now. That'll make Cross like, you know, worth defending somewhat for me, so we'll do that. Now this ship sort of worries me because he's you know, as you can see right here he's actually got units in it. And it could come after me with them, so... It'll be in my interest to stop that from happening. We're gonna take care of these guys first, though. Now, I'm actually not really worried about losing men here, so... Ooh, they killed a lot of my guys, but... There goes those rebels. We'll retrain these guys real quick. I'll try and get these guys back up here to retrain. Actually, think about it. Let's actually build my um, Iberian infantry over here, I think. He's probably going to come down here to attack um, the Greeks, perhaps. So that's something I have to watch out for. But if I do take the Greek city at this point, I will just, you know, march in and take them out, I think, with my army. Will be the plan. Let's go through my cities at this point. I'm just going to build up some stuff. So I got myself a temple in here. This will help with the culture a little bit, I think. I think we'll go for farming next. Now work well. I may want to start building up Iberian infantry over here just to help defend myself. I'm going to build a few over here to help defend myself as well. So these um, town walks by are mostly used basically to prevent like you know rioting and stuff because they like help as like a garrison for your city. But at the same time, you want to also have, like, you know, better troops to be, like, you know, march around to actually do combat and stuff where possible, so. You're still building up, which is fine. And Cordero's built his stuff up over here, which is awesome. 
All right, so at this point, I'm just going to go with very high again. This summer is, re is really building up at this point, so... Let's get some walls built if I can. I'm going to start building town walks basically crazy over here. Just in case these, decides, these guys decide I'm going to attack me, basically, is their, is their plan. Because they might actually do that, these guys. Hooray, new family members. Forgot to move this guy, but whatever, he'll just move past the Julia City up here. There's Arinium. And there's the Scipii army coming down to attack the Greeks. So I got besieged somewhere, apparently. You guys can go over here, I guess. Oh, yeah, Spain basically came after me over here with their army. Now my, my, my um, you know, place here can hold out for a little bit, so... That's good. Do I may want to sell out to hit this guy? I think that's what I'm going to do. Usually it's not the most ideal thing to sally out from your, um, your garrison cities, but in this case I will. <clears throat> the goal here is mostly to wipe out these guys and then, like, you know, just go from there. They're apparently going to do their thing. You know, they're actually running from me, so... This is a good t point to send my, you know, cavalry out to hit their guys in the back line. Now these guys have very similar units to me because apparently like, you know, the Carthage have like, you know, units basically similar to like, you know, Spain here. They're going to keep running away these guys. I'm actually good with these guys that start chasing them a little bit because I don't want these guys getting involved, so. Let these guys just, you know, break. Some of my guys just start slinging at him, basically. We're engaging, I guess.
Oh, they got to my scammer shit, which is not good, but... Oh well. They're broken, but not dead, which is good. Now, on a map with like a, a city, these guys are basically just going to retreat back to the city center. I think these guys are running from me, so... We'll at least driven these guys away from the battlefield. But I don't think I'll catch these guys, unfortunately. I'll hit some of their skimmers so they'll hit some line. Victory. I got a few kills, so I'm happy with that at least. I will have to eventually go to war with Spain, I guess, so it's fine if I go to war with him now, but I would prefer to be a little bit later. Ours, one. Off he goes. This guy's attacking over here. We're going to build up a little bit more infantry. I, great Lord. This guy will have to wait up here, I guess. I get a little bit more population in these settlements. I'll, you know, this one I'll start building the barracks and stuff at 1500 probably. And the road too. There's a pirate fleet over here. So my way there's pirate ships in this game, basically they're REMs, but they're called pirates. <coughs> hmm. Now I really should get the Wound Palisade up and fastest because this is actually an open city to be attacked by the Numidians if they want to do that. So let's get this stuff going right here. Let's get this stuff here. I'll get some roads here. I have a barracks here, but I don't have a practice range, which is basically I need to replenish my skirmisher, so I'll build that here, I think. And Carthage. I may want to get the Libyan Spearman sooner and later, but getting the elephants might be, might be nice to get too. I think that's what I'll do is to get this out of the way. And over here, we're just going to start, you know, jessing out a few of these guys to help out. Now, unfortunately, I think they're going to take the Greek city, Syracuse, which will be a big blow to me because I don't have to take the city back. But if I take out their navy, they won't be able to reinforce it, so it'll be that I can do as well. Let's go talk to Germania, I guess. I 
cannot do that, sire. They're actually under siege, I guess, so maybe not. There's some Spanish ships, I guess. Alright, these guys are nice and ready to go, I guess. You are getting old, Hanno. I think what I'm going to do with um, Hanno is just leave him here. Because he's, you know, soon going to die. And when he dies, you know, I don't have the benefit of him anymore, so... Drop you in there. I, great lord. I'm gonna build a couple of these guys over here. I only got three of these guys in here now, but that's fine. That's basically cover his job is to pump out a bunch of these, like you know, to you know help me out. I, great lord. Ships ready. Let's get these guys to go. Right here. All ashore. So this guy's got a nice big army on him now. Attack! Moves depleted, mighty lord. You know, think about it, I've actually got quite a few of uh, like you know town walks over here, but that's yeah, fine. They can take some town walks over, I guess, over here. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with this um, diplomat, by the way. He's just sort of marching over here to Dacia, but... What I'm going to do with Dacia, I don't know. Our ships are under attack. I'm going to attack my parts. I got defeated. That's unfortunate. I great lord. I got defeated badly too. Oh. I'll send these guys over here to replenish that and you know, basically heal back up. Apparently House and Julia and Gall are going at it finally. I'm going to get this going at some point. And this is actually go up to high at this point. I don't want these to set to be low. I want them actually at high, I think, at this point. So, we'll do that. At a certain point, you don't want your, your populations growing too big because then they get, like, you know, too um, difficult to control. I kind of set these guys to high now, I guess, as well, so why not? There's still a culture panel that I'm featuring, but, you know, whatever. I'll go away as soon as, like, these guys get up to, um... I guess I should keep them low so they get that up and out of the way sooner. There's a lot of guys in there. He's building his stuff, though. I'm just going to set these guys right here. My eyes are yours. So this is the general over here, I guess. He's the faction heir. Got some pretty good traits and all that, but whatever.
Can we get the Temple of Bell over here when we get the chance? You know what? I was going to build these here now, I guess. Just so I don't have to, you know, remember about it. And there's a Germanian army I wanted to find, so we'll talk to this guy, say hello. There we go. So there's basically the Germanian fa Germania faction. They're basically up here. They're not in Denmark, but you know, they're basically in more or less Germany. Feel send this guy back here to talk to the Gauls. He actually might die sooner than later, but whatever, it's fine. He's done his job, basically. Get a bunch of these guys queued up. There's a ship, by the way. Oh, that's bad. I lost one ship for sure. Those pirates are kicking my ass. Unfortunately, Brems are not the best thing for, you know, sailing around. They're actually pretty p tough pirates, so you want to get, like, trends and stuff to really beat them. We're going to send this guy over here. I serve your ruin. Is my I'm making this guy sort of just explore around for like the Ramus because sometimes you'll basically get him to be like, you know, um, better than what he's currently at for like spying and stuff. He gets for his substitutes and such. He just kind of most advanced at this point. Yada yada. Hooray, Carthage is, is growing, I guess. Let's get this up, I guess. And guess who's back in over here? Well, I got a bigger army this time, so. Let's kick him out. There's his army, there's mine. Units. Units. It's gonna bring these guys over here and just ram all my guys through the gate real fast. Unlike before, it looks like these guys are actually gonna somewhat, somewhat defend themselves. Skirmishers, 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 skirmishers. Lots and lots of skirmishers on these guys. It'll make more sense for me to just run into these guys, you know. With my guys, so I probably will do that. He's slowly advancing up a hill. Get all my guys out at this point. I should actually be paused to do this, but whatever.
What I really want to do this time is just take out the round shield cavalry from, with my cavalry this time, so they don't get away. You know what? You guys all get to run. It's time we've engaged these guys. I wish the double cooking was a little bit better in this game, but whatever. Possible I'll try and hit these guys before I get away, but I think it'll get away this time, unfortunately. I might catch him. Nice, he got away. Oh well, we'll kill off the skirmishes, I guess. Let's kill off a lot of his troops here, I guess. The enemy flee! Chase them from the field and give them no rest or pity! Hit these guys over there. These guys are excellent for running on skirmishers, these uh, horsemen, so at least we gotta get a kill on these guys. Yeah, Spain's not too strong, by the way, but that's also because I'm playing normal difficulty over here. The dice cast. Glorious victory. Oh, I wiped them out completely. Nice. Let's get these guys trained up, I guess. Carver is still, you know, training up his guys, I guess. I should drop this down to high for now. By the way, when you have, like, your really high, like, you know, tax rates, you'll actually get unrest quite a bit. And it's, you know, not a good thing to have unrest because it basically builds up over time. And only decreases over time. There's the Greeks over there. I can probably send a couple of these guys over here now. To be honest, I really should just disband these peasants, because they don't really, you know, help out a lot. They're basically really weak units to have, like, you know, only one good use, and that's basically carry battery amps and stuff like that. So, I'm going to disband those guys. And throw those guys over here. We'll build up basically more town walks over there for those guys, is the plan, I guess. I'm going to start building Brems over here, too. 
this is sort of replenish my fleet of like, you know, lost guys. Let's see here. It's going to be a little bit before I get that up, so let's build a temple over here. Gedora is doing its thing, but we'll build a mine when we get a chance. Mines are basically good for income, by the way. You basically get income from it, so... Awesome. That's basically what Carver like, you know, basically was doing in, like, Spain. They were getting these big holdings that, like, you know, let them get a lot of money from it. Let's get ourselves a port over here, I think. Just in case, I'm actually going to build a few town walks over here. Oh, I think they actually fled over here. Look at that, there's his entire army in there. A couple of hostiles right there, a couple of hostiles there. There's this stuff over here. Allies and all that being declared and broken and all that. Hello. I might keep that guy around just to be there to like take over for my guy when he dies. At this point, I might actually want to attack Greece to take their city. I mean, I've got such a small army. Mighty General! Prepare for battle! Do I want to attack these guys? I'm not sure there's any, like, you know, ma major problem with, like, breaking alliances with people, but... Yes, mighty lord. Yes, my liege. To hear is to obey. I know in other games, like, you know, there's usually a penalty for, like, attacking an ally. Something like, you know, in like, that's something I actually like in like Shogun 2. If you bro broke alliances, usually the other people don't like it too much. Now I might go talk to the Gauls, say, do you want to be an ally of me? I'll actually note with like diplomacy and stuff, I guess you see like who's allied to who and all that stuff, so. Right now you can see I'm allied to the Greeks, and I got all these guys as my enemies. The Romans are basically all allied to each other. The, the, all of them as enemies. Massa is out to Dacia, and Egypt is basically just an enemy of the Sel Sel Seleucid. And there is enemy to everyone. I assume I'm playing these guys, but they're really in a hard uh, place to play because basically got Egypt, Parthia, Pontus, and Armenia basically sometimes coming after them, so it's hard to really play with those guys. These guys are allied to Britannia, apparently. And Germania is basically allied to Frace. I'll go talk to the Gauls, I guess, to say hi. I'm going to take this city over here, I think, from now, for these guys, so... My eyes are yours. Moving. Sire, attack. We're going to hit these guys and, you know, take Greece's Syracuse city. Now, attacking a guy outside their city will actually cause the other guys to come out as well. So I should be able to wipe out everything and then I can take the city right after. This night we will feast and drink to celebrate victory. I promise you that. I also promise you the warm company of appreciative camp followers. But before any of that, 
There's something I'd like you to do for me. I wonder what he wants me to do. Now shout out to the gods. Shout your battle cries. Put All right, let's get this underway. I'll probably have this to be my last battle before, like, you know. We basically do anything else. The enemy have brought up more men. So in this case, we're going to have, like, you know, guys coming from over here. Basically, I want to defeat these guys in details to plan, so... They're just going to charge. Now, with Greeks, you want to be very careful attacking them from the front. Because they basically have their, like, you know, their hot plate flanks, which is, you know, extremely deadly. If you remember the tail 300, basically, like, you know, these guys, like, you know, they get this whole lot of droves of guys from the front. He's got archers, hoplites. I don't expect much resistance from these guys, but... Oh, we killed a general. Wipe out everything I can for the most part here. We got some arches and stuff over here, but whatever. We'll set these guys up to attack these guys over here. Now what's he got over here? He's got his general, hoplites, and armor hoplites. Armor hoplites are like the best of the best for like, you know, not the best of the best, but they're really good for like, you know, the standard like defensive guys over here. The Spartan hoplites are of course the best of the best, but, and there is Spartan hoplites in this game, but these guys are pretty damn powerful, so... I was going to have these guys just soften them up a little bit. We'll wipe out a few of these guys and then we'll go from there. Now, I'm pretty slow on the, on the charge these guys, but... Oh, that was stupid. If you catch them in the back, they won't be able to put up their flanks, so... There goes those guys.
They should be done now, because I'm going to hit him from like all sides at this point. Right into their, their by line, or by guard line over here. As enemies, these men I want to kill this guy if I can. Don't think I will, but... Got two kills at least. Willing obedience always beats forced obedience. Yes, yes, yes. Victory is ours, mighty one. Orders, I still have to siege the city, I guess. Literally has to kill the one guy in there. That's unfortunate that they got away, but oh well, it happened. Get this guy over here. I was going to drop this guy in here. Yes, counter spying. At this point, I think we're just going to leave it for this episode. I would like to take the Greek city, but you know, whatever. That'll have to come next time, I guess. My next allies will be, of course, the Gauls, so I get to them. But for now, that's pretty good, I think, right there. Hope you guys have enjoyed this playthrough, I guess, as much as I'm, you know, sort of enjoy playing it right now. Um, although this is a little bit slow, perhaps, going along, because basically, like, I'm sort of, like, you know, not doing, like, following any, like, strategy in my head or anything. I'm just playing it's like, you know, sort of, like, the first time, so to speak. Like, I initially did, like, you know, first of all, I said, like, I played it, like, adjusted what I have to do, but... Well, basically, I'm playing blind for the most part right here. Hmm, those guys are up there. And we're going to train these guys, how nice. I think I'll send four of these guys over here to join the siege. It's gonna set this to high. I should set this to normal for now. And that's where I'll basically leave you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed and take care, as I said. And yeah, ah oh yes, Miriam Shi, four beggars.